Welcome to Mathematics Alive, Algebra Lesson 22, Solving Fractional Equations in One Variable. A fractional equation is an equation containing one or more rational expressions with a variable in the denominator. For linear equations, the domain or the set of permissible values of our variable is the set of real numbers. The domain is the set of all permissible values of x or any variable involved in the equation. Now, for fractional equations, the exceptions from the domain are found by equating the denominators to zero and solving for the variable. Let's take example number one. So we have here a fractional equation and our first step is to find the domain by first looking into the denominators and finding the LCD and then equating the LCD to zero and solving for the variable. Our variable here is A. So we have LCD is equal to A plus 5. So A plus 5 equated to zero. So A equals negative 5. So negative 5 is the value that cannot be the value of A. It is an exception. So we will put negative 5 here. So the domain of our fractional equation is all real numbers except negative 5. So that means we can take any other real number as a possible solution except negative 5. Why is this an exception? Because when we substitute negative 5 here, negative 5 plus 5 becomes 0. And this will make our fraction uh, an undefined fraction. And we cannot divide by 0. So uh, next is to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD so that we will get rid of the fractions in the equation. So we multiply this by a min plus 5 and this one by a plus 5. When you multiply, you have to enclose the multiplier in parentheses. So um, if you have only one fraction, you can directly cancel. But if there are two fractions, you have to distribute the multiplier. So this will be distributed to 4 and to this fraction. And for our next step, we have a is equal to 4 times a plus 5 or 4a plus 20 minus and then this one is cancelable. So we have 26. So um, we can simplify. We have a and we have a 4a here. So we can subtract 4a from both sides. Minus 4a equals 20 minus 26. So we have negative 6. So we have here negative 3a equals negative 6. And then dividing both sides by negative 3. A equals positive 2. Okay. And then check your value if it is not an exception in the domain. If it is not, then it is an acceptable solution. And therefore, the solution set is positive 2. For example number 2, we have this equation, and we determine the LCD of the equation. We have M and 
m plus 4. So the LCD is m times m plus 4. And the domain, we can just equate this to 0. And we don't have to write that. We can do that mentally. So m is equal to 0, and m plus 4 is equal to 0. So one of our exception is 0, and the other is m is equal to negative 4. Just take the additive inverse of this number. And then we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. Then, we distribute the LCD to each of the terms here. So, uh, for the first term, we will be able to cancel the M and then uh, multiply M plus 4 to 1 plus. For the second term, we multiply this and we will be able to cancel M plus 4. So what will be left is m. So m will be multiplied to 6. So you have 6m equals, then you multiply this, m squared plus 4m. Then simplify the equation. Since we have um, an m squared on the other side, we can put all our um, constants and uh, variables on the other side and set this to zero. So we have zero equals m squared plus 4m minus 6 plus m is equal to 7. So subtract 7 from both sides minus 7m and then we subtract 4 from both sides, so minus 4. So 0 is equal to m squared minus 3m minus 4. Then factoring that, we have 0 is equal to m minus 4 m plus 1. And then we solve for the value of m. So we have m minus 4 equals 0 or m plus 1 equals 0. So therefore m is equal to 4 and m is equal to negative 1. And before we accept any of these roots, we have to compare it with our domain. And in the domain, um, we have here 0 and negative 4 are the exceptions. So if we get um, a negative 4, that will be an exception. We will not accept that. But since we have a positive 4 here and a negative 1, there is uh, nothing here. Uh, in the exception that uh, excludes the 4 and the negative 1. So we will accept it. So therefore, the solution set is negative 1 and 4. Number 3, we have this equation. And if we look at the denominator, we try to factor the, the first fraction, the denominator of the first fraction, and these are the uh, factors. So we have x plus 1 and x minus 1. And the LCD of this will be x plus 1 times x minus 1, because we have here an x minus 1, and we have here an x plus 1 
and the factors of this are also x plus 1 times x minus 1. And then we equate this to 0 to get the exceptions for our domain. And we have x is equal to negative 1 and 1. Then let's try to solve this equation first by multiplying both sides by the LCD to get rid of the fractions. x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, and then we will distribute this. These two will be distributed to the two fractions. And then mentally we will cancel the common factors between the numerator and the multiplier, the numerator and the denominator. So we have um, this two cancels with this. So what is left? 4x plus 2 minus. Then x minus 1 here cancels with x minus 1. So we will have x plus 1 times 1. I don't have to write the 1, but you have to maintain the negative sign. And then, this should be multiplied, or uh, there is a cancel, cancelable expression. So, what is left? x minus 1. So, we have to simplify 4x minus x. Then 2 minus 1 is equal to positive 1 equals x minus 1 for x minus x, 3x plus 1 equals x minus 1. And then you isolate x on one side of the equation by adding negative x to both sides. So we have 3x minus x equals negative 1. And then you add negative 1 to both sides again, minus 1. So we have 2x equals negative 2. So dividing by 2, we have x is equal to negative 1. Then we have to check this value if it is in the exception in the domain. So since negative 1 is an exception in the domain, that means it is not a permissible value. So we will reject this. And since we have no other answer, then the solution set is empty. So therefore, Solution set is empty, and we have no solution to the equation. We don't say we have no solution set. We have a solution set, but the solution set is empty. So we say, there is no solution to the equation. For example, number 4, we have the following equation. And we have the LCD is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 1. So our domain will be all real numbers except x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 1. And we will multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. X plus 2, X 
plus 1. Then mentally we uh, distribute the LCD to both fractions. So here we cancel x plus 2 and what we have is x plus 1 times x. That gives us x times x, x squared and x times 1 plus x minus. So we distribute this here. We cancel x plus 1 and we have x plus 2 times 4. So we have 4x then 4 times um, negative 2 or oh, negative 4 times 2 is equal to negative 8. So I remember that the sign here goes with 4. So um, the right side of the equation, we can cancel this right away, x plus 2 and x plus 2. And we multiply negative 2 times x and negative 2 times 1. And then simplifying the equation, we have to set the right side of the equation to 0. So we have to add 2x and 2 to both sides of the equation. So we have x squared plus or minus 3x. Then we add 2x. minus 8 and then we add 2 equals 0. So x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Then we factor x squared minus x minus 6. This is factor about. So we have x and 3, x and 2. So to get a negative x in the middle term, we have to make this negative and the other one is positive. Therefore, x is equal to x minus 3 equals 0, x is equal to 3, and x plus 2 equals 0, therefore x is equal to negative 2. And then we try to check if um, these values are in the exception to the domain, and since we have here an exception, to the domain, x is equal to negative 2. So what do we do with this? We reject that value, but we will accept this. Therefore, our solution set will be 3. And Number five, we have this equation with LCD equal to y plus 2 times y minus 2. Because when we factor this, this will be our factors, y plus 2, y minus 2. And we have a y minus 2 here, so we just multiply these two factors, and we have the LCD. And then the domain is all real numbers except negative 2 and positive 2. Then multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD, we 
we have y plus 2, y minus 2, Mentally, we um, distribute and cancel the expressions, which we can be, which can be canceled. So we distribute this, and um, we can cancel y minus two, and what we have is y plus two times six. So we have six y plus 12 minus 24. Um, this 2 cancels with this, so only 24 is left equals. Then we can just multiply this because the multiplier is 1. So we'll just copy this y squared minus 4. Since y squared is on the right side, we might as well put all the terms on the right side and set the left side to 0. 0 is equal to y squared minus 4. Then um, we subtract 6y from both sides. And then um, this is negative 12. So you add 12 to both sides. So 0 is equal to y squared minus 6y. And then 12 minus 4 is equal to Then we factor that. 0 is equal to y. Uh, we have 8 factored as 4 and 2. Since we have a negative 6 and a positive last term, then we simply put a negative sign here to get a negative 6. Negative 4 and negative 2 gives us negative 6. Why? So the solution to this is um, y minus 4 equals 0 giving us y is equal to 4 and y minus 2 equals 0 giving us y is equal to 2. And then we check if there is an exception. In these two values, the exception to the domain is positive 2. So we will reject this. It's so painful to be rejected but we cannot do otherwise. But we have to accept y is equal to 4. So the solution set is equal to 4. If you think this video had been very helpful to you, then please like it, share it to your friends, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Thanks for watching and Bye-bye.